everyone. So today I am going to take these dogs that are randomly generated by Pinterest and try to draw them all on a sketchbook spread. But you want to be sure to stick around till the end because I will be featuring a speed paint process on my iPad of the dog that I chose to make an illustration out of. So I hope you'll join me and grab those sketchbooks and let's get started. We're going to choose what first came up on the Pinterest and this is one of the first few dogs that came up and I was really liking this one because it looked kind of like a wolf. First what I usually like to do is just start kind of like in that one video that I did. Um, you can go check it out um, if you'd like and I did a process of drawing a tiger and this is kind of the steps that I always take. I always draw circles for just to line out the body so I usually take general shapes right here and so the circle of the face and then add on the fluff <laughs> add on the fur so I actually drew a character that I need to redraw for you guys to see um, it was in high school and there was a drawing prompts in my art class and one of the prompts it was like for Halloween it was um, a werewolf and so I was thinking, I don't, I don't really like do like the typical werewolf. So what I did, this this wolf reminds me a lot of this character that I made, and she was supposed to be a werewolf. And um, instead of like a really creepy, because you know I don't like to draw like creepy things. You always see my stuff; it's like cute, and that's just what I like to draw, just cute stuff. And so I went with a white wolf, just like this, and I made her kind of like prancing around with some a bag of candy. Maybe sometime, uh, let me know in the comments below if you would like to see a old sketchbook tour of sketchbooks that I did in high school and just all through school. Um, anyway, she had a bag of candy and uh, she had a bat sweater on. So um, I had to make some corrections because this I'm just not used to drawing dogs that much. So I was kind of struggling with this dog um, I'm not really that crazy about it. Um, I think her, there's something wrong with her face. But I just can't put my finger on it. I don't know. So um, I'll just go ahead and finish it. But I'm just going to go on to the next, the next dog. Yeah, I'd love to hear uh, what your type of favorite pets are uh, in the comments. Okay, that looks a little bit better, but I'm going to go ahead and move on. So let's see. Oh, they're so cute. We'll do a headshot of this one, maybe. Be really cute. Um, I don't know about you, but if you are an artist that is watching this, I tend to do that a lot. I'll try to, I'll just get into something and I'll only draw that one thing for a long time. And usually it's my characters, like Max and stuff. And I tend to not, you know, branch out. I think we'll do some like. For some reason, I'm making all these grill dogs. I don't know why I'm doing that. This is adorable. Look at that. Should I do that? I feel like I should do that. Okay, I just gotta try it. That's just adorable. And her hair is pulled up. A little ponytail. All of these guys are cute. English Bull Terrier. Let's see if we can get a better picture. What if I did without like the angel wings and everything? But it's a good sitting position. Make his mouth pretty big. I think their mouths are pretty wide, so looks really simple. I always try to go for designs that are cute, but also simple if they can be. Like that. I don't know what design should go in there. Maybe just a plain color. Little bones.
really like him. I think he has so much personality. Ah, what do you think of this guy? I like him. Okay, let's see. Maybe like a little pit bull? That'd be so cute. Look at him, look at his little face. I think pit bulls have really round faces. They got little ears, they're so cute. I think pit bulls are just really misunderstood and they can be just really good dogs. I've seen it, like, you know, with other people and they've, they can be great dogs. It's just depends all on the owner and how you raise them. I don't know. I just, I hate how they get such a bad rap. The smile is really cute. They're really cool. I like their long ears. Maybe I should do one walking. I haven't done that yet. I think I'll do one walking. I think we're getting a little bit better. Like, you can kind of see the progression as your hand starts loosening up. You can see how things start kind of connecting with your hand and your brain. I like him too. He's cool too. I don't know. I'm kind of liking this one's still leaning towards the best one and like for me just because I love his little heart nose <laughs> oh my goodness look at this guy he's so cute also I just wanted to quickly mention that actually on my shop if you haven't visited um, I am offering Pet portraits and my style, so in my cartoon style. So you can go check that out if you have a little beloved pet that you would like for me to recreate and do a little pet portrait for. Um, go check that out. Uh, the link is in the description. So, oh, I love his little fluffy legs. Oh my, this is getting very hard to choose. I don't know, I'm thinking it's a tie between this one and this one. A rough little sketch, but I think I still like, man, I just still really like these two. So I've got some colors here, so I'm trying to decide. Usually I like to put some just little blocks around my favorite ones behind them, uh, just to kind of make them pop out more from the page. He was one of my favorites too. So I really like that. Well, I guess that concludes uh, this sketchbook session with dogs so uh, now I've got to make a tough decision to which one I want to make an illustration with um, but I hope you enjoyed this sketching process and uh, feel free to leave any comments below on your thoughts about the video and what you would like to see next if you wanted to see more of these sketchbook session videos um, and also what dog was your favorite um, as mentioned before, I would love to know which one was your favorite to kind of give me some insights on choosing the best dog stickers for me to make for my Etsy shop. Um, so anyway, yeah, I'm going to decide which one I want to use and then I'll jump over on my iPad and let's get to illustrating. <laughs>